four things you should never do if you're lost at sea. Number one, don't eat sea turtles. They are a prime example of you are what you eat, and they eat jellyfish, which are very toxic. So if you eat a sea turtle, you will probably get sick and might even die, so don't do it. Number two, don't drink salt water. This just makes you more thirsty, prone to dehydration, and death. Number three, you do not want to eat seagull meat no matter how hungry you are. These things are disgusting flying petri dishes. However, you can drink their blood, which is disgusting, but actually something that could help you survive. Number four, no matter what the reason is, do not get off your raft. Rafts actually track a lot of small fish, which are great to fish for, but big fish like to eat those. By big fish, I mean sharks. You don't want to get in the water with those, so don't get off your raft. Facts about jellyfish, but they gradually get more disturbing as the video goes on. Not all jellyfish are actually dangerous, and as a matter of fact, a lot of them have stingers that don't affect us, and in certain areas, it's actually a tourist attraction to swim in places like Jellyfish Lagoon, full of them. Jellyfish are also large forms of plankton, but one of the largest and longest animals in the ocean is actually the lion's mane jellyfish, which can be longer than a blue whale, and its bell is massive compared to a person. This is the box jellyfish. Its venom is so powerful, it can actually kill you in under two minutes. It also totally melts your flesh, and I couldn't attach a picture. Oh, and that right there is the Irukandji. It's smaller, but even worse cousin. As a matter of fact, their venom has some terrifying psychological effects to the point where it makes you want to unalive yourself. Perhaps the most terrifying thing you could possibly know is due to climate change and global warming, these deadly jellyfish might be spreading all across the world. I'm going to show you the largest man-eating crocodile ever caught. This is Lolong. He was a giant saltwater crocodile in the Philippines that reached almost 21 feet in length. He was a massive specimen, and he's actually the largest we've ever recorded. It took about three weeks and over 100 people to capture Lolong alive. He was suspected in a lot of different deaths and disappearances of both people and livestock. So overall, they didn't want to release him back in the wild, so they kept him in captivity. Sadly, however, this massive beast did not survive in captivity for long. Lolong actually passed away after about three years due to extremely poor conditions of his captivity led to him having a heart attack and actually dying. Three of the weirdest ways fish have killed people. This is the ocean sunfish. This giant, stupid meat frisbee is not particularly dangerous unless they jump and then land on you and squish you, which has happened. This is the candiru, a small type of parasitic catfish, and they like to swim up to what I call in this channel your sea cucumber, and then they'll actually go into your bladder where they die and then cause a massive infection. Sometimes the only option is to actually remove your sea cucumber. This is King Henry I of England. For some reason, this dude loved to eat these disgusting, jawless fish known as lampreys, which are actually blood suckers. Well, he ate too many of them, and then died. That's the end of the story. Terrifying facts about the ocean, let's get into it. So we've explored roughly 5% of the ocean, leaving many things and creatures yet to be discovered. Also, sunlight penetrates about 700 feet into the ocean, and after that, we're in a murky black abyss where we cannot see anything, but many things can still see us. There are about 3 million shipwrecks, with countless human bodies being eaten by many undiscovered and unexplained organisms, so that's terrifying and horrible to think about. Also, there are many unexplained disappearances from ships to planes to people. Also, the pressure at the bottom of the ocean is so immense it equates to 50 jumbo jets being piled on top of us. There are also plenty of terrifying and deadly diseases that eat our flesh while we are still alive in the ocean. Plenty of creatures have just been discovered, including the giant squid and the basking shark, so who knows what other giant and massive and deadly creatures have yet to be discovered. Also, here's a terrifying situation to think about. We cannot swim up out of the ocean very quick or we will die of something called the bends. So imagine being deep down in the ocean and trying to escape and realizing you cannot swim up so you are fucked by whatever creature is chasing you. Also, there are tons of dead bodies. Yeah. Everything the internet has told you about the blobfish is a lie. This unfortunate looking flesh bag has actually been deemed the ugliest animal on earth. But I have some breaking news. It's not. In this normal environment, thousands of feet below the surface of the ocean, this is what it looks like. A totally normal kind of lumpy fish. Even its mouth is normal and the giant nose is nowhere to be found. And that's because these guys live in extremely pressurized environments. So without the pressure, they kind of turn into a blob. And they're also not stupid or defenseless or lazy. Their skin is covered in acid, so if you touch them, you might die. And these guys can actually live for over a hundred years. They're kind of awesome. That's why sharks definitely don't want to eat you. First of all, you're way too skinny, which I do hear every single family vacation, but regardless, you just don't have enough fat and blubber on you for a shark to think you're desirable enough to eat. Also, you probably don't smell good to sharks. They like the smell of blood, not banana boat sunscreen. Also, to a shark, you're pretty fake. They want a seal, not a surfer. They need the real deal to survive. And finally, you're probably boring to them as well. Unless you've mastered the art of swimming like a dying fish, sharks really aren't going to be interested in you. 